Wicked Modder here, and what we've got for you this evening is a RGH muffin style CR4 install using a Matrix V1 chip on a Corona 16 megabyte NAND console. So this is not a 4 gig Corona. Um, it did require a post fix as you can see and I'm going to walk through the whole uh, process really quickly high level uh, and then demonstrate a few boots on this thing uh, to see if you guys are as impressed as I am. Hang out with me. Alright, so for anybody who just wants the quick and dirty info on how to do this, a pro installer, somebody who doesn't need to watch me do an install, uh, I'll just demonstrate for you real quick. This is the Muffin uh, install. So this is the uh, Matrix V1 chip. You need to bridge the slim uh, top pad here. You get your 3 volt, 3 power, your ground. Your A point is RST, CPU RST, uh, which we recommend, or which I use the underside of the motherboard top point here uh, as the CPU RST. Uh, post via the standard post if it's a 16 megabyte that's intact or a post fixed adapter um, if, if the Corona console does not have post traces. And then the only other uh, item you need is DB2G3 uh, which is right on the front uh, on, on the Corona uh, console and I'll demonstrate that on the camera here. DBG23 is this point right here up in the front DB2G3 uh, is right there and I haven't even cleaned up uh, my flux yet so there's the points for anybody who needs it the timing file for anybody who is also curious that I used is the XSVF file uh, that comes in the Corona uh, muffin pack uh, the 3-1 file is what I use there. So 3-1 file is what's flashed to it using this wiring uh, and then uh, standard Corona 16 megabyte points 3 volt and then ground and uh, yeah so let me take it through, through you on the console itself. So on the console itself here uh, real easily we've got power and ground run using some thicker wire uh, up to the power and ground points identified. Then we've got A running to the underside of the console. That's going to the point that I showed you on the monitor. I'm not going to bother to take the console out of its uh, case to do that again. We've got B going to post, which in this case is a post fixed adapter that's installed there. Uh, and then the final point here, F, we've got going down to the front to DB2G3 and that's it that's the quick install only just a few wires there uh, five in total uh, just like a CR4 actually um, and then what I want to do is demonstrate some boots real quick here so go ahead and plug in the front ring of light board so that I can use the controls on the faceplate here and uh, let's just boot it here. So we'll get our indicator of a successful boot by the full ring of light there so it circles the whole thing. So there's a successful boot. First glitch like insta boot. And there's no hard drive or nothing pre-installed so it goes to regular dash right now. Um, but if we go ahead and cut it off Alright, so it's stopped completely. Fan stopped. Power back on. So there's a few flashes in the beginning there, but nearly instant boot again. We'll cut it off. 
And I know this isn't exactly thrilling content, but um, I mean, this thing has been booting this way of the 15 or so times that I've booted it. It's been consistently, like insta-boot. I don't think I've seen it go more than 30 seconds at all. If that's representative of how this performs on Corona with this easy of an install, the chip is is cheap, uh, basically as cheap as a Rev uh, or as an Ace V3. And then, actually, if you consider the Muffin install for Trinity and Corona, and then a fat RGH 1.2, all of which you can do with one chip. As a as a pro modder, as somebody who uses chips and stuff all the time, it makes me consider. Maybe I only stock these, right? Only carry the Matrix V ones because I can do any console with them in a very respectable boot time. So there you have it. Three Insta boots back to back. Why not round it out, make it an even number, and go four, right? That way we can say 50% one way or the other. So we already got 75% uh, basically Insta boots. Um, and I didn't even, to be honest, attempt any of the other timing files. I'm, I'm scared to, to do it, because why would I with, with performance this good? So there's like kind of a little half blink. There's maybe one, and then it's it's done. Like, um, I, I don't fully know the, the flash cycle, uh, what that exactly is spelling out, but man, it goes fast. So anyway, that was a quick, super fast breakdown, uh, short video, not a full tutorial, but should be good enough for anybody who's got the concept of RGHing already, uh, in on CR4 Muffin on a Corona using the Matrix V1. Thanks for watching.